Hello, Cancer. And welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin. And today, Cancer, ooh, regeneration and imagine. Ooh, let's see what's going on. We are doing a general reading. We're going to see what's happening in the next couple of weeks, what you're going through, what's coming your way. Looks like something great's coming. You're going through a big change. Talk to us. Show us what's going on with Cancer in the next couple of weeks. So thinker and breathe. Definitely feel like you're preparing and you're going through some major changes. So card number 44 is all about building solid foundations and for the future, right? It sounds like you're thinking about that and you're taking a step, a breather, a break maybe and getting it going. But let's see Cancer. Let's get into this. Show us what's going on with Cancer in the next couple of weeks. Messages I need to receive. What's happening? And Cancer, I do want to say that I've opened up personal readings. So if you're interested in those, the link is in the description below. And let's get into your reading. So we start with the High Priestess in reverse. Let's see what that is. Oh, all those. We got a lot of cards. Let's get into this. So High Priestess in reverse. The Hanged Man. The Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, we're going like that. The Four of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords. I hope all those are on camera. My camera falls sometimes and then they don't get on there. And then I look back and they're not. Ah, uh, the tops. I'm sorry. So the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ooh, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, good. We got the Fool and Justice. Ooh, Cancer. It's a little dramatic. It's a little dramatic. Can't deny that. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Let's discuss this. So the High Priestess in reverse. I feel as though, um, let's get clarity on that and see what that, that's going to set the tone as to what exactly this is. So what do you want to say about the High Priestess in reverse? The Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords. Okay, so ooh, we got the Five of Swords in Reverse twice. So Knight of Cup, Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Swords is clarifying the High Priestess in Reverse. So I feel like Cancer, you might not have been fully listening to your intuition when it came to a person or a situation. This person might have been sneaking. They might have been, but you found out. So you found out uh, some secrets here. You found out something about somebody. Could have been an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could have been Pisces, but I feel as though you decided to walk away. This was a situation or somebody that made you really happy. That you thought that this was the end game, the wish fulfillment. You thought that this was happiness. Um, but you walked away from it. You walked away from the conflict. So you found something out. There's a six of pentacles. Yeah. They, um, you learned something. You learned something about a situation, about somebody. And it ended. Look at that. The death. You ended it, um, Cancer. You walked away from it. Yes, you're disappointed. Um, you... But the four swords in reverse, I feel like right under breathe. You're taking care of yourself right now, Cancer. You're putting yourself first. Maybe you're taking some spa days. Maybe doing a lot of meditation, doing a lot of guided meditations. I feel like you're just leaving the situation. And um, with the eight of swords in reverse, not limiting yourself, not overthinking, um, not conflicted with it. I feel like you're just trying to put it behind you and rebuild and think about how to move forward. You're disappointed. The Ace of Swords, you're confused maybe even about why this happened or what happened or why they did this, but they did. Um, the situation is what it is, whether it's a friend, family, lover, um, whatever that is, but you're not giving your attention to this anymore. So right now, I do feel some sorrow. I feel some sadness. I feel like you're just taking care of yourself. But in the near future, like at the end of the two weeks, look, the fool with the justice. So justice is always served. Karma always comes back around. We always get what we put out there. So if someone did you wrong, they go and get what they deserve. And if you were an innocent victim, which I feel like something went down here, you're going to get your new beginning. You're going to get exactly what you deserve, Cancer. Don't ever fret that. Um, the universe always corrects that shit. And there was probably something you have to learn. Maybe it had to do with self-care. Maybe you were, because the four swords sometimes it's like you lost yourself in that relationship, that friendship, that partnership. Um, but either way, you're not giving your attention to it. You're starting to move past it and you got a brand new beginning coming. So do you want to say anything else about this? Anything else about this new beginning? <laughs> Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, you've learned your lessons. Queen of Pentacles. So, I, okay, so there's two ways. Okay, we're going to get, when we get the outcome, we'll find out. But Queen of Pentacles, this could be an earth sign coming in. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you've learned your lessons. You've taken these obstacles, these problems, and you've learned from them. You're not going to make those same mistakes again. Oh, hell no. No, you're blocking that shit. If anyone approaches you, any situation comes at you that has anything to do with this, or you start to see those similar patterns and characteristics, 
Oh, you ain't having that. You learned what you needed to learn and that's what draws it in. So for you where this is love, yeah, there's someone new coming in, a queen of pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, someone very nurturing, very caring, very motherly, very fatherly, but somebody who's protective and somebody who's kind. Um, and for those of you where this is business and you, someone did you wrong at your work or whatever, or a friendship, yeah, you're getting a new beginning. You either have a new opportunity coming in, look at the pentacle, right? Or you have a new friend coming in. Somebody that will, like the universe always corrects it, right? Like if you, um, they always, <laughs> it's like if you ever seen that episode of Seinfeld where Jerry's like, he loses 20 bucks, but then he finds 20 bucks, right? It's like you lose something and you find something because you never lose what wasn't yours. Um, and the universe always brings you what is. Um, so new things coming down, great things coming. And I'm sorry that you're feeling a little sad and disappointed, but you're a thinker cancer. You're building your foundations. You're going to get through it. It's going to be way better than it was before. So let's get a few Oracle messages and then we'll get your outcome. I think it was pretty short and sweet. The cards were pretty clear as to what's going on, but this new start's coming. So that's good. What does cancer have to surrender to in order to get this new start? Ah. Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered would help resolve the issue more quickly. Okay. And the lesson, what is the lesson that cancer is supposed to learn from this past person, this past experience? Well, judgment. Okay. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, as do you, but as do them, as do they. What the hell? So do you and so do they. I don't know. Wow, I was speaking like that. That's not even proper. I don't know. Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's get your energy oracle message. Like Tupac said, only God can judge you, right? None of us have the right to judge anybody, but sometimes we are our harshest critics. Sometimes we judge ourselves harsher than we judge everybody else. And being that you're a water sign, you might be a little empathetic, a little more compassionate, and you might be a little more self-critical. So just be careful about that. Don't be self-critical. Don't limit yourself. What is the oracle message? What do you want to say? What will benefit cancer? Please talk to us. Oh, I kind of threw that. Sorry about that. Healer of the Ages, card number 51 in reverse. Let's get your message here, Cancer. Okay, so when reversed, this card indicates you feeling, you've been feeling out of sorts or even, even, I can't even talk, my apologies. You've been feeling out of sorts or upside down in your life. You might be in the midst of some physical problem or just feeling as though you're losing energy. But this card is telling you that there are deeper levels of healing that need to be addressed. Take some time to regroup and put your own healing first. Whether you're facing mental, emotional, physical, even addictive patterns, call upon the healer of the ages to bring his energy to the issues you're working on. Quiet your mind. We see that a few times here. And feel his vibration bringing you warmth and healing light. Clean away the dark, the hurt, the space from the past. Repeat this meditation and be patient and know that the divine love can heal you in the blink of a belief. It can. Um, so the affirmation they want you to, to do in meditation is the power of healing of eternal love is with me now and always. So let love guide you. I know it sounds so stupid and cheesy. I know, I know. Okay. What other words of advice do they want to say to you, Cancer? What do you want to say? What message do you have for Cancer? And then we'll get your outcome. What messages will benefit cancer? What do you want to say? What do they need to know? Hermit in reverse. The Six of Cups. The Nine of Swords. And the Fool. So coming out of... Um, it's like... Knowing... I don't know. How do I say this? <laughs> Like coming out of um, hermit mode, coming out of, um, you've had your enlightenment. So when this is upright, this deer, this buck, this thing represents spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightening, knowing what you want, knowing how to go forward, figuring that shit out. And you've done that. With the six of cups, I feel like you're about to make your dreams come true. You know um, what your purpose is. You know what you're supposed to do. I feel like this person coming through, whether it's a friend, family, lover, is a soul connection. They're here to help you. See how they're putting their hand out? They're here to help you through this journey and get this new beginning going, right? And with the Nine of Swords, it's because you deserve it. See, this Nine of Swords is a little bit different than the other Nine of Swords in that she's kind of like levitating and she's meditating. She's thinking about herself. She's like, these obstacles mean nothing. It's like Neo with the bullets, right? I can stop anything. I can stop bullets. Um, I can do what I want, right? So it's a little bit of a different meaning, which is beautiful. And I feel like that's you. Um, and that's how you're getting through this. And that's how you're creating this new beginning. 
because you know you deserve it you know it's time and you're just ready um, and when you put that out the universe rewards you and they give it to you so you're going through this major healing right now but you're coming out of it you're coming to the end of that and you're ready to get this new beginning going which is beautiful and exciting at the same time so cancer <laughs> let's see where you are in a month from now let's get your potential outcome i say potential because there's always free will and i say outcome but um it's where you are in a month because you know some situations can go on like that you never know talk to us where's cancer in a month with the situation this new opportunity i want to talk about where are they with the new opportunity after it comes in talk to us Ten of Pentacles is the overall vibe. Woo! That is good, yeah. So the Two of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. So what's interesting is there's some boundaries that you've placed here. Let's talk about that in a second, Cancer. But ultimately, damn, you've made the choice to move forward. So <laughs> this queen, this this person coming in. Um, they definitely steal your heart here, Cancer. Um, you're not even thinking about it. You're not, you're just move forward, but you're still guarded. You're still placing these boundaries. What is this eight of swords? What, um, cause it's upside down there. Three of pentacles, hierophant. Um, you want to work on this, but you're afraid of what people are going to think. So there's something cancer with this person that might be out of the ordinary but you definitely um it could be a cultural or a religious difference with the hierophant being there you want to work on this you want this commitment but you're uh worried about what other people are going to think so take that how it resonates maybe there's there's an age difference culture difference religious difference um could even be a work relationship whatever that is there's a stigma there um and you're placing a boundary on it and i hope that you can release that and work through it because you want to commit to this person now, if this is for those of you where this is business, yeah, you've taken the path um, to follow this. If this isn't love or not business, but friendship, whatever, if it's not love, <laughs> if it's a different situation, um, again, you're committing to it, but um, your intuition is blocked. So there's still um, hesitation. There's still some doubts, I feel like, for you, for those who are telling that part of it, but you're moving forward because this is what's going to, yeah, there's still a little bit of disappointment. You're not fully past it. Because there's the high priestess in reverse twice. So if it's a person, if that is a situation, this isn't for the loved one. I want to make that clear because I'm feeling them very differently. If this is a friendship or a foe or a relation, whatever that is, you're going to be happy. You're committed to working on this going forward. But there's still some thoughts. There's still some beliefs. There's still some intuition that's blocked about this person. Um, so do you want... Oh. Just keep working. I was just going to say, do you have any advice on um, what to say? To <laughs> and that's what came out cancer is the three of pentacles. Just keep working. Just keep trucking forward. Um, this new opportunity is a great, a, 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 but you have to make the choice to be consistent. You have to make the choice to work hard. You have to make the choice. Actually, I'm hearing uh, you, there might be someone there that you don't like. <laughs> so with if uh, there might be for, uh, for some of you, this is business. Um, yeah, and there might be a coworker or a friend that maybe you don't like, or maybe in your clique, there's just someone that you don't click with, um, but you just got to work and compromise with them. And that's what I'm hearing. So I know that there's, it's a little bit of confusing of an ending. I apologize for that. Do you want to say anything else just in general to Scorpio or sorry, Scorpio, this is cancer. I don't know if I called you Scorpio. Maybe you're, oh, the Knight of Cups is there. Maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio. Um, so the Knight of, or the Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh, oh Yeah. Ooh, and the two of cups. So go with the flow. Um, you can't change the situation. You can't change the situation. Sometimes we just have to accept people for what they are. And that's what brings us our happiness. Um, so Scor Oh my God, I was going to call you Scorpio again. My apologies, Cancer. I hope I wasn't doing that throughout the whole reading. If I do, I might. Genuine apologies. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe a Scorpio was a Scorpio from the past. That's uh or it's a Scorpio coming in. But either way, my apologies, uh, Cancer. <laughs> Let's get your yes or no question. So yes or no, what is the answer, please, to their question? Talk to us. The answer is no. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck with this new opportunity. Until next time.